So what's up people and welcome to another episode of Skyrim Mod Adventure. This is part 5. And if you recall in part 4 we added a face mod and the uh, photorealistic mountain mod. And so I thought that we would continue on with adding a few more mods and in fact I've already added uh, one mod before we start. And the mod is uh, Sin's Breeze Home. And the reason I'm getting this is I'm at a point where I could uh, get the Breeze home uh, from, uh, I forgot who it was, the Jarl's advisor in Whiterun. And so I figured that I would load the mod first before I purchase the uh, house because I think it's a little bit more difficult to load the mod later on. You might have a few bugs or something like that. And so just to avoid that, I wanted to use Sins Breeze Home. Now, the reason I'm using Sins rather than some of the others is because uh, there are some really nice Breeze Home mods out there. It's probably the most modded of all the house uh, houses available in Skyrim. Um, but the problem is, is I wanted to keep this lore friendly and a lot of the other mods go a little bit overboard and it feels like you're living in a home that's completely different from everybody else's in the game. You know, it doesn't look like a house in Whiterun. Whereas uh, Sin's Breeze Home changes it enough to make it a little bit more practical, but uh, it keeps that look and feel that you have with Breeze Home. And uh, that was actually my preference. And so that's why I decided to go with this mod. But in any case, I've already loaded it up. And so we could continue on and then I'll add the two other mods that I want to for this episode uh, after we played a little bit. Okay, so let's go get the breeze home and then head on out to hike. Haratgar. I think that's what it's called. Divine smile on you, friend. You're the best. Do you have Can you be my father? Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. Oh! The sweet roll love, thing. Love. Staying out of trouble, Kinsman. How can I help a brother Noah? Next to the uh, arrow and me comment, I remember the sweet roll comment most of all. Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. Splendid. There's a house available right now. Wonderful. Here's the key to your new home. I'll be glad to help you. There are many ways to improve your home, provided you have the coin. And of course, don't forget to consult your home decorating guide for descriptions of the decorations you could buy. Now, what would you like to purchase? Okay, well, let's go get the majority of this stuff. Very well. I'll make the arrangements. The next time you visit your house, your new furnishings will be in place. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? I won't leave White Run defenseless. Even for a day. Very well. I'll make the arrangements. The next time you visit your house, your new furnishings will be in place. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Very well. I'll make the arrangements. <laughs> the next time you visit your house... Oh, uh, is there a mod that shortens this sentence? Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? After the first time? Now let me get this. Very well. I'll make the arrangements. The next time you visit your house, your new furnishings will be in place. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Very well. I'll make the arrangements. The next time you visit your house, your new furnishings will be in place. 
Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Hmm. Very well. I'll make the arrangements. The next time you visit your house, your new furnishings will be in place. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. It says the children's room. Uh, we'll replace the alchemy area. And uh, I don't want to have that, but I would like to get a children's room. What is it? Dragons? Okay. At this point, I'm going to add the other mods. So uh, let me get out of this game. Okay, so in this episode, I figured that we would do uh, two changes. One was to add the water mod, and the other is to add a default weapons mod. And for the water mod, I decided to go with the uh, go-to mod, which is Realistic Water 2. Now, I know there are other mods like Pure Water, but I decided to go with the one that's pretty standard uh, because I didn't know too much. And if I remember right, that's what I used to use, and I think I was pretty happy with it. And so, uh, yeah, uh, I will load that one up. And for the uh, weapons mod, I decided to go with the... Uh, Leon Wolf's uh, Better Shaped Weapons SE. Now this isn't a weapons mod that adds more weapons if I remo uh, remember right. I think it's one that enhances the look of your weapons or actually corrects some of the glitches that are in the current vanilla weapons. So it's not, I, I don't think it's a major change in how the weapons look. I think they just look a little bit better. And so it'll be a subtle change. I'm hoping that the water mod will be a lot more dramatic. If I remember right, it was. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'll load those up and then uh, let's take a look at how the game may change. Okay, we're back. Actually, I don't see any difference. Huh. No, I don't see any difference. I wonder if... Uh, I know I loaded this up. Hmm. Well, maybe it looks better. I'm not sure. It's not supposed to be this uh, subtle. Well, Divine smile on you. let's go to High Harothgar. We could get all the way up to here. And then let's take a look at the water out here. And then we'll go to High Harothgar. Oh, the weapon. I don't know, I can't tell. <laughs> well, so much for uh, this episode's uh, mods. Well, maybe the water looks better. It looks less gelatinous, but I thought uh, pure water was supposed to be even better than this. Not pure water, uh, realistic water. Oh, maybe I should get pure water. Maybe there's uh, something missing. I don't know, I'm using Vortex, so it should be uh, loaded well. Yeah, sorry, I was kind of trying to look at this guy's uh, weapons. I really can't tell. It may be better. I don't know. Well, let's go to High Hrothgar. Yeah, I went up there. Uh, just to make sure that we didn't have to waste a lot of time uh, trying to get up here. I tried to minimize a lot of uh, dead time, you know, uh, traveling.
So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. No. Okay. Shout at us. Okay, okay. I don't know, I thought the food here was pretty I heard that the food here was pretty good. We are honored to welcome a dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. Okay. We are here to guide you in that pursuit, just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Ro. Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Feel sorry for that guy back there. Well done. Again. <laughs> Maybe you should stand somewhere else. Once more. 
Which one? Oh, okay. I'm glad he wanted those uh, sim type indicators on top of his head. Not the right uh, shout. Okay, let's do this. Well, at least I didn't smash into your face. Your quick mastery of a new thune is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. You were given this gift by the gods for a reason. It is up to you to determine how best to use it. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jurgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient plain of Ostengrad. Remain true to the way of the voice. You will return. Hmm. Sigh about voice within. Well, I think uh, that's about it for this episode. To be honest. I couldn't tell that much of a difference in the mods that we added. And to be honest, I forgot to go to Bree's home. What am I supposed to do now? Are you supposed to tell me something? Hmm. Oh. Oh, 
it's not working too well. <laughs> I'm messing up their house. Okay, I don't need to do this. Oh, it's you. <laughs> I thought it was one of the graveyards. Okay. Well, I think I'm done. I gotta figure out what I, uh, you know, what, what I have to do next, and we'll continue on with uh, more Skyrim modding adventure. I hope you join me in the next episode. Until the next one, happy adventuring, and giant nice day, everyone.